Hello and welcome to Teacher's Notes. In this video, we will be looking at the passive voice. How to form the passive voice and when to use the passive voice. Okay, well let's get started. So when and why do we use the passive voice? Well, we use the passive voice when the doer is not known or unimportant. The software was updated yesterday. My telephone was stolen. So in both these sentences, we don't have the doer. We don't know who updated it or who stole the telephone. And we've taken them out of the sentence. Okay, Either because we don't know who they are or we think they're unimportant. We also use the passive voice when we do not intend to focus on the doer. Wuthering Heights was written in 1846. Rome was founded in 753 BC. In both these sentences we're having the object at the beginning of the sentence. We're focusing on the object, the object of the book or the city. And as such we do not have a doer in the sentence, the person who wrote the book or the person who founded the city. Okay. So there are some examples of the passive voice. How exactly do we form the passive voice? Well, the grammar rule that you'll need to remember is B plus past participle. All passive voice sentences must include the verb to be plus a past participle. Okay, so past participle examples there. Eaten, seen, played, visited. Okay. Past participle, also known as verb three sometimes. And a B, well, not a B like this. So let's have a look. What do we mean by B? How many different forms of the verb to be are there? Well, there are eight forms of the verb to be. Is, am, are, was, were, be, being, been. And when we use the passive voice, you need to be able to use all of these because depending on which tense you are changing from the active to the passive you will need to match these with one form of the verb to be. We're going to look at that right now. Okay, So that's another important rule to remember. Verb tenses must remain the same. When you're changing from active to passive, verb tenses must remain the same. If it's present simple, it must be present simple. If it's past continuous, it must remain past continuous. Let me explain. Let's look first at present simple. The baker bakes fresh bread. We flip that to passive. Fresh bread is baked by the baker. Present continuous. The baker is baking fresh bread. Fresh bread is being baked by the baker. Okay, and we see there, for the continuous tense, we use the form being, being, baked. Okay, so we need the verb to be, being, and we need the past participle, baked. Okay. Is being baked, present continuous, passive voice. Let's look now at past simple and past continuous. Well, past simple. The poet Lorette wrote this poem. This poem was written by the poet Lorette. Past continuous. The poet Lorette was writing a new poem. A new poem was being written by the poet Lorette. So again, we can see with the past continuous, we need to have that ing with being. Was being written. Okay, Past continuous passive voice. And also worth reminding you that we can leave the doer out of the sentence. We can say by, or we can just take it out. A new poem was being written. Okay. Present perfect tenses and modals. Present perfect. A thief has stolen all the money. All the money has been stolen by a thief. Okay, now optional there, by a thief. And we need to use the verb to be been, has been stolen. So verb to be, been, plus verb three, stolen. 
with modals, can, could, will, shall, should, so on and so forth, we use the verb be, verb to be, be plus verb three. The police will catch the thief. The thief will be caught by the police. The police can use DNA evidence to catch the thief. DNA evidence can be used to catch the thief. Okay, so with modals, we use the modal plus B plus the past participle, verb three. Okay, well, I hope that's helped you to understand how it's formed and when we use it. A good way to consolidate your learning is to answer a few questions. So now it's your turn. Here are eight sentences which have been written in active active sentences, and I would like you to change them to the passive voice. They're all different tenses. We have present simple, present continuous, perfect sentences, past continuous. So you need to look at the tense of this sentence and make sure you transform it correctly. So I'll give you a few minutes. Maybe you'd like to press pause and write down those. Okay, I'm going to move on to the answers now. So if you've not finished, do hit pause. And the answers, well, the answers will be, going ahead of myself now, the answers will be in the section below. So please look in the section below of this YouTube video, and there you will find the answers to those eight questions. I do hope this video has been useful. I said the passive voice is a very good skill to be able to use. It's used a lot in newspapers and a lot in reporting. It's very, very useful. Okay. Um, and if you have liked this video, please click like and please remember to subscribe. Thank you.